All right. Hello, hello, hello. Happy January 16th. We are officially midway through the first month of the year. <laughs> so how exciting. Um, I hope you are staying consistent. Um, I hope that you are also, if you have a day where you sl slip off of your, your goals, your resolutions, whatever it is you do, that you're not weighing yourself down and you're not dreading on it, but you're just going, okay, tomorrow's a new day. And you try again tomorrow, right? Like that is my philosophy in life. Um, if you know, some days are hard and you don't make all your goals, that is okay. You can always try again tomorrow. Just don't always do that, right? Like actually try again tomorrow. Don't just say, I'll try tomorrow, I'll try tomorrow. All right. So um, a couple of announcements before we get started with Angela. Um, one, the team Clearwater Beach getaway is in February. Um, Stephanie, what are the, I think I have the dates. Where are those dates? Um, it is in February, February 9th through the 12th. Clearwater Beach. Guys, this is just something Stephanie kind of was like, I want to get away. Our team wants to get away. Lavelle's not doing a getaway. So we just quickly said we want to go to Clearwater Beach and um, you can book on your own. Uh, several of us are staying at Shepherd's Resort. You can book on your own an Airbnb, another hotel, anything, but just come. We've got fun things planned on Saturday and Sunday morning just to hang out. And if you're having crazy winter to get away from the crazy winter, hopefully, hopefully it's great sun and fun in Florida. So make sure if you don't know what I'm talking about, get with me or <laughs> Stephanie and let's make sure you have all the details. Um, also, are you marketing the My Fresh Meals? Guys, pre-order is coming. And like they said on that Zoom, everybody eat everybody eats. And, um, one thing when I was on a cruise, when they did the first zoom, so I watched the replay the other day. And one thing that really stood out to me is because, you know, people are like, Oh, these meal companies have been around. You can order, you know, oven ready from anybody now, even the ones like, a uh, hello fresh and home chef and all those that used to be just that you prepare it yourself. They all have oven ready stuff now, but what stood out to me was that he said, this is not kitchen to door. This is farm to table. And that is huge. That is clean ingredients right? That is no additives. That is a big deal. And the price point for that for farm to table is pretty darn awesome. Um, I had somebody tell me, well, even Walmart has these, you know, things that you can buy now. And, and it is like, I mean, be great for like your, you know, 20 year old kid. Um, but you go into Walmart and they have these like a spaghetti and meatballs and they're not frozen. And you just take them, you know, whatever. And they're, I think they're like $7, but you look at the back of them. The ingredients list is this long and there are words I can't pronounce. That is not farm to table. That is not the consumer we're looking for. You're looking for somebody that cares about their health. So the freshness, everything else, they're delicious. All right. I just wanted to make those announcements. Make sure that you are still drumming up that. Don't just drop it until they announce it. Okay. Keep talking about the My Fresh Meals farm to table coming. All right. Angela, hello. Are you co-host? Are you unmuted? Are you good? Yes. Hi. <laughs> okay, y'all. She is amazing. And she is our newest millionaire award recipient. Um, that means that she has made over a million dollars in commissions since joining Lavelle. Um, I'm so excited. Welcome to the club. And on top of that, she has been a GOAT award winner for how many times? Three? Three, three times. Okay. So three times. Guys, they don't just give that out. Like, I don't have one. Um, <laughs> so Angela is <laughs> truly a personal hard worker, right? She is consistent. 
And I want you to know that's why she has earned that GOAT award. And you want to take notes from her. I'm going to take notes from her because GOAT award is on my vision board. So <laughs> Angela, <laughs> Angela, take it away. Let's just talk about how did this start? How did you get into Lavelle? Have you done network marketing before and kind of go from there? Hi guys. Thank you, Amber, so much for inviting me on this call. To be honest, when she asked me, I always get nervous till this day, you guys, I'm actually not a Zoom person. I can't, I can't, you don't ever want to say that, right? But I was never before, but going on these calls, putting myself out there, volunteering myself has got to be where I am, doing it brave, having courage. So I really like to thank Amber for asking me to go on this call. And I think you're such an amazing, humble leader. You know, just, she's always so welcoming, always sees us for who we are. And I'm just so appreciative of you and all the other leaders that are present here with us before I inter like go on my introduction I, I want to remind you guys to invite your teams on because the one thing that I've learned in what we do is seeing is believing the third party and somebody besides you okay so the the number one thing that you guys don't need talent you guys don't need to do the extra you don't need to know it all but inviting people right? Inviting people to the Zooms, inviting people to the events, inviting people to the next Thrive Palooza and inviting people on this call. So we're so limited on what we see. So please take a moment and invite your people on. Um, don't cross them off, you guys. Um, so before I introduce myself, how did I start network marketing and how did this come about? It's so crazy. I am Angela Pham, but I go up by Angela Bebe, you guys. <laughs> That is my alter ego. Before I had any confidence, I was like, okay, Angela Bebe is that, oh my God, hey, look at me, let me lead, right? Angela Pham is that uh, speaking from the heart, somebody that wants to really help people, somebody that aligns this company and my values and stuff in lines with my family, my commitments, my team. That's Angela Pham. There's a difference between those two people. Um, how I started is I didn't come in here for the money, you guys. I was somebody, um, I'm going to give you guys, nope, I've never done network marketing before. And I sign a lot of people are from different walks of life. Okay, so I love to be um, in the trenches because I was that person, right? So I sign a lot of people that are like different walks of life. I've never done network marketing, never knew what it was, right? Um, but I'm going to give you guys a little background on my life so you guys can have a little perspective on how, why, where my work ethics come from, my strong um, integrity and morals, how I took that and really helped people and found purpose in my mission, right? Um, before Thrive, um, I actually was, I, my, my parents, entrepreneur background, my mom was an entrepreneur, nail shop owner for 25 years plus, my dad was the nine to five engineer for 25 years, so I've got both, um, so that's why I see a lot of perspectives, and I saw my parents work really hard, um, from, at a very young age, I worked at my mom's nail shop so I knew how hard it was for entrepreneurship I lived through it um and I also watched my dad lose his job during the pandemic and stuff too you guys so I've seen all of that at a young age um so growing up till I was 23 I did nails I did um you know I did all sorts of jobs like retail tell and all of that and then I did I stopped working at 23 and from 23 to 33 is when I started getting dependent on men because it was easier right like before Thrive I was living the life I you could say material things and going on vacation and I was always somebody that really took care of myself from the beginning I was somebody that always shared something that I loved and I did have a lot of friends because I was always this positive person you guys Thrive just enhanced my life and Thrive found me at the perfect time in my life. Th this is why I always tell people do not like compare your chapter one to their chapter 20 because a decade before that I was lost in the sauce with the men financially taking care of me but deep down did I grow up like that? No. You guys I grew up with having to work hard watching my parents take care of a family of seven and I will cry every time because um, I'm going to also remind you guys why I work so hard because I'm somebody that always reminds myself every day to stay where I'm at because that's where I'm able to flourish 
and help other people. But going back to my story, you guys, I I wasn't spoon fed, not until that t- t- 10 years I've lost myself, right? Because I let that lifestyle, that luxury, that easy life, that easy gratification, I would go on vacation and have no meaning in life. But deep down, I would fight with myself. Like, what am I doing? I know that I'm worth more. I know myself because I grew up with a great family, you guys, great background. My parents didn't teach me hard work. Actually, I had to watch them. They taught me a lot of people like being a good person. And this is why this company company aligns with who I am. And you'll never see me, like this is my first and my last. I would never do anything else, okay? Because I'm that loyal. But, um, you know, growing up, that was my story. I was lost in the sauce for 10 years and I would fight with myself, you guys. Like you're so much more and you guys are so much more. I'm gonna tell you guys, if you guys joined network marketing, you saw that you had the potential. You were born to be great. You were born and you knew this. Being around me, being around us and other leaders, I'm gonna open your mindset and help you think about the bigger picture, okay? Because behind your mind, you see it and you know that you can do this and you have more potential to live out your life the way that you love and I also will teach you that what success means to me or Amber or Jackie or any of our leaders twin that you know it doesn't mean to you right so I really hone into the authentic lifestyle so from when Thrive found me you guys it was the perfect timing because I had Avery he was two years old I was a mother if you know me I would never I didn't stick to anything. I was never committed to nothing. I'm all over the place. And I'm going to tell you, if it's not fun, I don't want to do it. Literally, till this day, I don't want to do it. So, you know, I never committed to anything. And I started the products. Um, My sponsor, Jackie, thank you, by the way. I watched her for nine months, you guys. My son was already almost nine months. Uh, My son was already two years old. I was trying to lose the last five pounds of the baby weight. I wasn't even thinking about like, all that other stuff, like that deep stuff or purpose, none of that. I was just like, I just want to look good. And going to Coachella, I was going to this music festival and people knew, and she, like, she going to do whatever it is to look good. So I was like, hey, Jackie, I'm really like, what you got? Because that's why you guys don't give up. She was so persistent. And plus she was like doing her touch and go with me, like, you know, building that, you know, touch and go relationships. It wasn't that serious. Right. So I watched her. I was like, damn, bro, like send it to me. You know, Jackie sent me samples. I was actually on a sample and I still samples people till this day. You guys don't cross people off. I tried the sample and I fell in love because I lost five pounds within two weeks, you guys. And I'm going to be honest, I literally um, was like, like, I was, I thought I was too cool for Thrive. I I literally did because Jackie's like, where's your patch? I'm like hiding it on my leg. Like I didn't, I was still thinking that I was still too cool. Right. But not until I started to thrive some more, you guys, I started to feel really good. Cause mind you, I was a coffee drinker. I was complaining, traveling and complaining like, Oh, you guys, like, um, I'm walking and like drinking my coffee. And I know Jackie saw that, you know, I was a major coffee drinker. I was a tired mom, but I was a type of I did anything anyways, but I was tired, right? I did it anyways, but avoided my, like how I felt. I just cared about how I looked, right? So how it got me was I lost the five pounds achieved in two weeks, but the more I started thriving, I started to feel good. You guys, I was like, <laughs> till this day, I love Thrive. I'm obsessed. Uh, but like, I just started to feel good. And that's where it was. I came in, hit the ranks within 45 days, but you guys, I lost it. For four months so that means what it was six months of me like not believing in the opportunity and I'm going to tell you guys this is the important part where you can go fast and miss those steps and I wish this for everyone okay the biggest moment in your life is actually not when you accomplish you know millionaire or 200k or 4k whatever it is titles don't matter here but I think the biggest moment for you is um, that belief. Okay, I want this for everyone else because I'll talk about belief um, in this opportunity. So I started, I didn't believe, 
right? Jackie Tip invited me to this event and I met other people. I was really inspired by other leaders. It had nothing to do with Thrive, you guys. It had everything to do with who I wanted to be as a person. So I met people. Um, the first person that I met was Crystal. Um, and she was a mom that I wanted to be like, you guys, that I wanted to be that strong, independent mother because I was so dependent, right? And, and it had nothing to do with anything else but being a better person for my kids, you know, for the people around me. So she asked me something that really resonated with me. She was just, I already love the products. I didn't see the belief. I was so entitled, to be honest. Um, and plus, trust me, I, I, this is why you guys must always remind and put your people in places where they can flourish, but it does take a partnership because I had to say yes to going. In the back of my mind, I knew that I was going to gain something because mind you guys, let's rewind this. Uh, I never go out of town without my husband. I traveled like 10 hours straight connecting flights because I was looking for it. When you look for it, when you're looking for change, you're looking for something, I, in the back of my intuition and mind and my subconscious, I knew that I was looking for more. So when you look for it and you're curious, that's when things start to grow, right? So I went on there and I met somebody that changed my life. And it could be a simple conversation, you guys. Like before that, I remember I said nobody wanted to thrive. It really is. I, can you believe that? I said nobody wanted to thrive and it was just a negative, it's self-doubt, you know, because I started doubting because a lot of people, my hot market didn't want to thrive with me. And that's the truth, you guys. Some of my friends with other with, with other people and I started to get that, that, that distraction started to roll in, right? I know some of you guys can get distracted, right? Those, the, the noise where it distracts you. So I started doubting it, but not until I started to, Okay, let me figure this out, right? Like, I know that I love Thrive, so let me just take one step forward. Let me put an effort. So she invited me. She paid for my ticket, you guys. But the one thing with Jackie, she knows what she wants, right? Like, she gave me offers that I couldn't say no, right? I she did. I didn't say no. I was like, yes, 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 right? Like, you're paying for my um, flight. I get a free trip. I love Thrive. Let me go. So I got really inspired because I wanted um, more. So I went there and I got what I wanted. You guys, I wanted more. I wanted to be inspired. So in order for you to be inspired, you must be in spirit. You must take that action. You must go, right? Experience it. So I came back um, and she, Crystal was like, do you know what you have in your hands is gold? I was like, yeah, I love Thrive, right? I love that. I just didn't see the belief. She goes, you could be the first in the Bay Area to change lives. You guys, she made me think. I was like, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing? Like, I love Thrive. So guess what? I went home and I started dancing my Thrive, away, like dancing my life away. Like, as in like, I'm thriving, everybody. <laughs> like, this is me. And honestly, guys, I'm going to tell you guys how it started was, it started with that belief, right? That belief, instilled belief. And that's what I want. At every level that you're at, you're going to have that belief right somebody that's going to help you you got to be around people that are going to change your mindset so I went home I'm like okay who who can I get on thrive right like I believe in this I need to like get people on thrive now like change lives but I was still running alone you guys I can I'm going to tell you I'm the type of person I can't go fast I've been a consistent I'm an enroller right I can find customers for days you guys but I cannot go far Right. And I remember the hardest time for me was when I was going 12K to 40K and I could not for the life of me hit 40K. And I remember looking into um, like my leader's eyes and like, I don't know, I even, even when Chas came I, and I will tell you, when you guys have the opportunity to meet our leaders, please go, please please be around people that have been experienced like that's the one thing about me is like I love to be around people that love the same thing too and even though I don't know what I'm going to get out of it I going into it I always get something out of it so I met Chas and this is when I was um obviously came back I started getting people on Thrive and that was when Chas came too I remember I hit 12k right again 
the, the following month, you guys, that's crazy, right? I went home, but I was still running on personal momentum. I was still running on just customers. It wasn't a leadership yet. It wasn't building teams. And I'm going to tell you, you, my journey has been um, a lot of self-development and discovery and like it flowed, you know, it was, I think my story is, ve I'm very uh, a purposeful person and it, it just that way, right? I found a lot of purpose. So during that time, I, I had no idea. I can go really fast alone. I can get people on Thrive. I can take care of my customers, but I had no idea. So I remember Chas came and I'm going to tell you guys, I've never told my story on a Zoom call. Like I've never, even the person like me, right? That's why I want you guys to go back to my story, see how I was like before. You want to compare yourself to that person, right? So I never told my story. And um, I remember Chas came and she told, I even told her, like, I can't even, like, go 40K. I don't know what it is. But I don't know, just being around, like, that, like, positive. Chas, I don't know. I'm going to say she's probably aligns with me the most. Um, just, like, her integrity. Like, with, when she talks, I'm just, she's such a good person, you know? Like, and, and those are the people that you should align yourself to, your values, to other leaders here. Um, that's my greatest advice to find mentors that you align with and like focus on that mentor, right? Um, so when she speaks, I was just like, oh yeah, like, you, and, and I remember she was like, hey, Ange, like, do you have any new um, like thrivers on your team that is like 12K that want to tell your story? <laughs> and bitch, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say bitch because I say bitch a lot. <laughs> um, but I was like, this is a perfect time for me to volunteer because I remember listening to a call that Jason Kepper did. It was a boot camp a call and he goes, you must create a volunteered army, right? But in order for you guys to create a volunteer army, you must volunteer yourself. Like you must lead first, do things scared. So I remember going on this call. I was like, hey, Chas, like, I'll do it. Like, I'll do it because I've never told my story. So my, the very first time I told my story was actually on Chastity Marie's call. It was like 700 people. And you guys, I was so scared. But I will tell you, each time you guys tell your story, you kind of, it really like, it feeds your desires, you know, it feeds, you know, those are little wins to me. And I, I'm going to give you guys the bigger picture. It's not the titles. It's not the money. It is you stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something different. It really feeds who you're, you're going to become in the process. Right. So after that, things started to transpire. Um, twin came in and she was like, you need to, uh, start converting your customers, right? That's when I knew the magic of, converting my customers, people that love Thrive, you guys. Okay, so this is where it changed for me. Um, I started changing a lot of lives, you guys, a lot. I mean, I'm somebody that, I'm okay, like, okay, next person, like, who can I help, right? And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of advice. A lot of people that don't make it in network marketing, I will tell you, because you think you don't want to be salesy, it is because people come in here and they always think, what can I get? They don't think, what can I give, right? What can I give people first rather than what can I get out of it? You guys will see a lot of give people what they want and then you will always get what you want. That's my model. Like I will give people and then my family will get like for sure. Like I know, and I was like, okay. So every time I did a goal setting, I was like, what can I do? How can I help? Like, it's not, it's up to you right? That can change your like business or your future. So when she said convert your customers, this is when things started to really change for me, you guys. I grew into this opportunity. I don't think anybody really like comes in here and sees that opportunity, right? Like you grow into the community. The community is why I stay. You know, I would never give up on my community. I'm such a leader of my word um, and a person of integrity that I, you'll never like I show up for my people, right? I saw, um, I started changing my partner's life. So I, as you guys know, I don't take it lightly when people sign with me. My customers turn, are my promoters. I've seen their whole journey. I know their whole story. Um, I started changing people's lives as in getting people paid. You guys, like in what we do, the luxury of this is like, you guys have no idea how it feels. Like, 
people don't have grocery money. Like thinking about it makes me cry. People don't have grocery money. They don't have food to eat. Sometimes they don't, they have $20 in their pocket, okay? So I think about these things. If you guys see me enrolling a lot, it's not for me. I'm a person that places a lot of people, people that partnerships, relationships. I'm a people builder. I don't build business. I build people. And if you guys see, I'm not trying to be the best. I'm trying to help people. In order for you to help people, you need new people, right? So I fell in love with the people, you guys, building people. I fell in love with, till this day, I get those messages like, hey, Ange, like, I just bought like the wallet that I've been trying to buy. Or hey, Ange, like, I feel so good about myself. Hey, Ange, like, I just, last week when I hit millionaire, a, a text comes in and I just got my first comma check. That's where it's at. It's not how much money I made. It's how much money can you make your team? You guys, that is how I got to where I am because I I serve so many people, right? Personally, right? And not only that, I will serve not even on the, the, the roster, on my team, but like not even on the levels. You guys, like you want to do it from the heart. So that's when things started to change for me, you guys. And I'm going to tell you, I've never got a rank advancement as in like I had the opportunity to get those big checks on my account, you know, um, I did this, like, pure, like, oh, my God, it just felt good, like, and I, I believe that for me, my success is creating a fulfilling life, and even when I struggle, because Amanda knows this, a lot of my leaders know that I have struggled during my uh, journey, but you guys got to understand that there's no business that there's going to be people rooting you on like this there's no business that is the smartest most purposeful like when you are not in spirit when you are not feeling good when you are in the hospital when you are down and out this is the only business that the people got your back my te I'm teammate, you guys. I am not, like, I'm not self-made. You'll hear me say everything that I have today is, let me get a napkin because I knew I was gonna, uh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sorry for my tears, okay? Um, I am teammate, so I am about the people and I teach people too. Like, in order for you guys to get what you want, that mindset has to change, you know? Uh, but also be intentional. I am an intentional leader, but I also am a lifelong learner. I don't have an ego, you guys. I've learned so from so many of my new promoters. I've learned from just going and getting myself out there. You know, okay, so right then there, I made a decision when I came back. It took me 10 months, you guys. I'm still learning. I think you're always learning um, to really learn the in, ins and outs. It's like when I heard Thrive for Free, that's when I jumped, right, as a customer. And then I remember at the beginning, it's seed planting. Jackie was teaching me, like, you can make a business out of this. You can make money off of every person that you, um, like, you know, sign up. And when I heard uncapped income, that's, that's when I was like, oh, so it's really up to me. Like, there's no cap. And you guys, I, I'm all about personal philosophy, profits over wages all day. So you're telling me if I put in the work, right? I want you guys to think about this. I'm the type of person when I'm going for something, I don't think about the results. I'm thinking about all the work that I got to do to get there. Even when I put vision boards, okay, I have to be this person to help them get this person. That's how you're able to manifest your life. And I'm, I am a hard worker and I know that, but I wouldn't have it any other way because it really helps me active stay in love with what I, what I do and help people right so I went I learned the ins and outs waiting room and all of that I went to all the leaders you we like hey let me pick your brain like my two mentors were Jackie and, and twin just period like because they've seen success I followed them I've learned everything from them and I really want you guys to be intentional I was like literally watching them like you want to watch people and what they're doing. Like I'm always learning and applying. You want to like that analogy, right? Like swim, left arm, right arm. And then it gets you a little bit 
further. You can't just post one day or share one day and forget the next. You guys, you guys got to remind yourself that it takes time. And so uh, for 10 months, I learned the ins and outs. And that's why my, my business, the way I built it was amazing because I've learned from people and mentors that filled like forward. So that's what I did, you guys. So I learned that, hey, the more people that you enroll, the more people that you build, you're able to serve other people, I would grow. I think I went on a 90 day run and I think within a month or so, I went 200K, you guys, within that 10 months of learning, like really that leadership, how to really take care of, build people, how to like go on three ways, really changed my business, you guys, welcome calls getting in front of people. Like I always try to meet the team in person whenever I can, because energy transfer, social proof is everything. So went 200K, not only that helped my husband go 200K, my partner, you know, our team has been fastest growth for the last three years. And I've told myself, it's not lonely at the top. My team's always with me on stage. <laughs> you guys, it really is like in this business, what I love is that you can't step on people that's why it aligns with me to get to the top you must take the people that you trust that are willing right don't drown you guys why you guys are so I'm going to tell you if you have like a discouragement or your standstill in your business because you're so focused on who's not coming you're so focused on the person that is not signing with you focus on the creating be present and create right P create opportunities because what we do is like, it's just a repetitive thing over and over. So all I did was just, I was never, I didn't think that I was like the ever the talented person or ever like, you know, you don't, I just started before I was ready. And I just, I think it is work ethics. You know, I was willing to put in the energy, but also, yes, it is passion, passion. Do you guys know what passion is? It is, you're willing to show up no matter what struggle it is, no matter what life throws at you, when you're passionate and when your vulnerability is passion, you guys. And, and I always tell people too, like the market is missing a you, like people that are just themselves. I did this, like just being myself. And people think like, oh, like till this day, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I still sign new people. Why? I know you look at me and you're like, she's not relatable but I actually am. Why do you guys think that I sign people? Because I use my voice. People relate to who they want to be. They relate to my heart. That's why I speak from my heart a lot. This is why I speak and show my personality. Another thing that changed my business is I did made a decision. Um, I think this is going to change your business. Number one is the belief in yourself. And number two is like the ability to make decisions. You guys, the ability to be like, okay, I'm going to go for the five-year plan. I literally did, said that to my partner. She even reminded me the other day. I went to her house. She said, do you remember what you said? You're like, five-year plan. Are you doing this with me or not? I give my partner as an ultimatum, you guys. I was like, I'm doing this five years. I'm going to commit. No matter what, hard days or not, it's going to compound, you guys. I have, when I made the decision, to go all in. I knew that if I showed my personality, I know you guys know what it has, what it takes. You guys, if you're weird, if you got personality, you got what it takes. I love weird people. I love different people. I made a post today and said, I am so fucking bored of the world because everybody's trying to be perfect. Everybody trying to be perfect, mister. No, what makes you guys different? is that character, that weird character. Like if you're weird, show that because there's a lot of people. And, and that is what attracted people to me. You guys, I started attracting people. Not only that, I started showing stories. I became a storyteller, right? I had so many stories to tell. And the goal in the back of my mind was delivering results for the customer, delivering results for the team. And I had so many stories to tell, so many personal stories. That was in back of my mind was I got good at giving people what they wanted in their lifestyle changes, in their income, whether if it was $50 or not. You guys stop thinking people want to be millionaires here because they don't. They just want to feel good. And another thing that I wish that I started sooner was not wait for a reason.
though. People are waiting to feel good. They just want to just go on the journey with you. They want an accountability buddy. They want somebody positive that is just going to help them better their lives. Really, that's what relatable. What What's relatable is just who you are. And honestly, I just do, do the same thing like repetitively. And I just, I'm no better than you. I'm equal as you. I just compound on what I loved, right? I love growth and I compound on that and I did it every day. And every day I got better at helping people, right? And you could feel that passion. It's not how I look. People no longer look at how I look. They look at who I am, how many people I helped, how, how they go to my page when they're feeling down, how silly I am. It's okay to be silly. People just wanna laugh a little bit. You know, like entertainment, you know, romance your vitamins, you guys. Sometimes I'm like, bitch, can you, uh, I was just telling my sister today. Sorry, my sis. I was like, girl, can you uh, tell me about yourself? <laughs> like, I even tell my sister. But you guys, like, it really is just, you guys don't have a boring life. It's so fun right? Like make it fun. And really it goes down to just having fun. I have so much fun, you guys. Like that's why I do this. They said that I could make an income while just doing anything. And it, I was like, okay, let me, let me make that ha happen. And it did. And I'm going to go back to this too. Um, it goes back to your why, you know, if you are not committed to your team, you're not committed to your why, because this really does give you everything that you need. Um, I'm not a person that does things for myself. I am a person that does things for other people. I didn't think about my future until I had my son, but I will tell you that this has given um, my family a lot. Okay, so I'm able to now be that independent woman. Um, my son's future is like, I'm, I'm not worried right? Um, and I'm able to help other people while helping my own family. So hone in and dive deep in what your why is because, and you know, sometimes you guys don't need to learn more. Really, it's really simple. You know what we do, you need to be reminded more of your why you need to be reminded more because I we could tell you a list of things to do five or three to one you're like, because mm. motivation doesn't last you guys it you have to have hunger of something that drives you guys forward the fear of who you don't want to be anymore the fear of you know where you will be if you don't like you know start planning or thinking of your future I never thought about my future you know and I remember my husband asking me like what do you want to do with your life and thank god because you know like he did take care of me but I know that he saw more in me too, right? So he's like, what are you going to do? I'm like, I don't know. And this was before Lavelle came. So this was all in my mind, you know? So this was the perfect opportunity, you guys. I'm going to tell you guys that Lavelle, I had already made a million dollar over commissions with Lavelle, with me and my husband alone in November, 2022. Okay, so my life has already changed. I didn't need to, you're far rich in who you are and who you become during the process than you when you do in real life I will tell you that and when you guys built that character um you could go you could literally do anything it's th these seasons always come the pandemic the the you know recession they always come but learn to adapt because you know, like that's light, right? Um, my greatest thing is if you guys want to start anywhere, you guys want to sign more people, they need to know your mission. They need to know why you're doing this. Just like Lavelle, right? We we align with them because we know they're, and they, they have always um, given us whatever they say, they do, right? You want to be that person, right? Like I wouldn't be with Lavelle if they didn't give us like so much. And I've taken advantage of Lavelle, you guys, that drive for free. Like I literally, we do this for free. Take those credits. Don't use it on yourself. I like calculated risks, you guys. And it was no risk. So I would like take those I'm like, Hey, I'm going to give you like free credits, right? Utilize that and think 
business also, right? Like look at that and see if you can flip that. Like take advantage of Lavelle. Like I've always taken advantage of Lavelle and I love to take advantage of them because they're always giving us free stuff, right? But that is my story in a nutshell, you guys. Um, um, but yeah, that it, I found so much meaning and purpose in this and I'm somebody that will show, for, show up for free. Like even on my baddest days, because I found um, my fulfillment through helping people, because I found that giving value to people, helping them feel better or even like get up, um, it's given me like a lot of like light. So even like I said, on my bio, this was meant for me, right? Like I love people. But you got to know your boundaries in this business and you got to teach people how to respect you because even somebody like me, I am an enroller, but you don't see people, you will never see my partners asking me for placement or any of that because they know better, right? They know that I'm like, you have to have tough skin during this journey, you guys. And another thing, you got to root your small wins. You got to give yourself credibility. Why do you guys see so much confidence? It's because it's the things that I've done when nobody was watching. I didn't do it for validation for other people. You got to validate your own journey. You got to take control that you made that decision to help people thrive. You made that decision where people are going to judge you. You're not going to be liked by everyone, you guys and that's okay right so once you make that decision and you want to do better I promise you things start to change around you another thing you guys I started honing into systems so whatever I wasn't good at or great at I outsourced outsourced everything our whole entire team you guys I am so intentional. I know what leaders will do great. And me too. Like, we're so great because we're not meant to be the same. That's what makes a great team. You guys, we're not, we're positioned to do certain things, right? Like, for example, right? Like, Jackie does a lot of things I I don't want to do like she knew that I'm like no I'm not doing that and sometimes like you know if you guys don't like something sometimes I don't she has more patience for I don't I don't deal with like negativity <laughs> like I I am that person that I'm that's why you see me like nope like on to the next right I'm like hey Jackie like you always want to complain up right not complain but vent up never down that's why you guys see our culture like it's like guts cut to the chase. What can we do? What can we do to find a solution for this? Right. So there's a lot of things I outsource. I this is the problem too. And it comes from our childhood. I know my husband's this way. He's hyper independent. People are so hard on themselves. They don't like to ask for help. But let me tell you, I asked, but I will ask. <laughs> I will utilize my resources. I will say, hey, can you help me with this? Hey, can you do these calls? Like even on, you know, I know how much connection is in our business. And I do these weekly calls with my team, even when I'm not, if I'm like out and about, I will ask one of my leaders like, hey, could you help me? Like you scratch my back, I help scratch yours because I know how huge community is here. Pl staying plugged in staying close to the fire if you guys don't have fire within you you need to be around people that are really inspired like fired up like like you get excited they talk about the products they're promoting the next event you're just like you watch them long enough you're like damn that energy transfer like i'm excited like it just hit you right that's that twin was that person for me and I'm like oh sh shit like I'm the product of you guys I I know I do like cuss a little <laughs> a lot but like you guys but, but I put you got to put yourself in places that will help you be inspired right it goes back to the product so that's how you're able to get people on thrive um and, and daily methods of operations make it fun write a list of things that you guys can talk about on different days change it up i've changed it up i'm gonna give you guys an example motivation mondays share inspiring quotes your success a uh, stories related to your you know values you guys, the number one thing to how to talk to your audience is um, speaking your voice, okay? Like, 
everybody has a we are I'm going to say it. We are our own personal brand, you know, how we can. There's a lot of influencers that have the audience, but they don't know how to secure their attention. They don't know how to engage or interact. Um, you, you know, my, I have flaws too. So this year, I'm going to tell you what my problem is. I have the trust. I know I have the trust. My followers trust me, no doubt. Um, I need to engage more. I've been signing a lot of people and they tell me like, I was afraid. Um, you don't know. They're so afraid. You know, they're like, I've been wanting this lifestyle change, but like, I was just so afraid to message you. Sometimes you got to be that, that first person to message them. Yes. You want to be the hunted, but you also want to like, you want to mess it. You want to engage and show that you're interested, right? Show that you want, you care. So this year, I know that's my flaw is like interact. Imagine if I engaged more with people. I know, like just like the power of I knew it, I show my personality. I will tell you guys, your personality will open doors, opportunities for you, but your character will why people stay with you. If you guys want to sustain this business please do everything ethical for other people you want to do things for their best good because they're going to find out i'm going to tell you they're going to find out right so um that's okay and then tuesday go moving on trivia tuesday engage do polls i did polls like hey do you know what this is like giving that see if they pay attention right like i did do you know what these i put i used blue capsules today so it's just engaging, even with your team too. engage with them. I don't believe in like, you'll hear other people say, oh, talk to new people. Yeah, talk to everyone. <laughs> it's not that serious, right? Like talk to everyone. You want to connect with your old, new, existing future. Like try to be like, harmonize that. You don't want to leave people behind either, right? You still want to be like, hey, I'm here. So Wednesday is behind the scenes. Show people what you do. You know, when you show people, when I started this journey, I started showing people that I was had an office space that I am creating here. This is the my happy space. I started taking people on the journey of how my office looked, what I did, how I made my drinks. There's so many things that you guys can do for your business that you can create to so it's it's like they're they're watching a movie, right? They're like, oh, what else? Like, oh, I didn't know her office space looked like that. I'm pretty sure if you guys don't have it, make it your car. Who cares? Like, hey guys, this is my office space. That own it, y'all. If it's a little kitchen, own it, right? Um, and also like Thursday, you know, I'm gonna share my thoughts, you know, about the industry, insights, um, you know, uh things that we offer, the benefits that they get, stories of other leaders of our team, or if you don't have one, share the Laval page, right? Get really intentional. Friday, flashback Friday, you know, revert back to every two, three weeks, revert back to the story, how you started. People need to know your mission and not everybody watches your story, right? Um, and I also tell people to always think new. You guys, I'm always like, in my evergreen. If you guys don't know what it is, it's like new reels, new posts, because I'm attracting new and that's how I was able to sign new people. And the, even the old people, it compounds, right? So look at, uh, is it like your boutique? Like they're, they're walking through the front of your boutique and they're walking inside of your boutique and that's where your stories are, right? So that's how I'm able, that's like daily method of operation. That's the minimum that I do. And I know it sounds like a lot, but it's not. Just, just, just apply. I promise you that you could apply, but commit to having that like every day. But anyways, did you guys have any, I just went on. I get so passionate about like sharing certain things. I'm like, I didn't even have to like prompt you. I didn't have to ask you any questions. Like, you're amazing. Your heart is amazing. You are an amazing speaker. Um, I know you don't feel that way, but you are. You are an amazing speaker and we greatly appreciate you um, coming on. And I will say, I actually have never heard that first part of your story before the pre thrive. Um, so I'm so proud of, of you and where you have come. Cause I kind of have a little bit of that past as well. Um, okay. So, <laughs> so a couple of questions writing down this and, and, and things I want to touch on one, when you said that 
Crystal said, what did she say about the Bay Area, about you in the Bay Area? That I could be the first in the Bay Area. Okay. So she painted that vision that you hadn't even thought about before, but she believed in you. And she said, look, and, and that, you know, when somebody else says something, then paints that you're like, oh, wait, like I never even thought about that, but, but why can't I? And, and so you run, ran with that. Um, I will never forget. So something I love that you said too, is um, no, nobody is going to run with, yeah, I want to be a millionaire, you know, oh, I want to make millions of dollars because we don't believe it's possible for ourselves. Okay. So yes, if you're running with that, please stop painting <laughs> that picture when it comes to just getting people on your team first off now. Yes. As they're growing, absolutely <laughs> show them what's possible. Um, I used to cringe when people would message me and, you know, just within the company and they're like, oh my gosh, I really want you to talk to my hairdresser. I told her that, you know, you made a million and you this and, and, and I, I really, I want them to see that they could be a millionaire too. I was like, no hairdresser wants to leave doing hair, you know? So don't, don't make that picture because I never, I cried the day I left the salon. Yes, Lavelle's been amazing, but that was something I thought I was going to do that till I was at least 60. Like that was my passion at the time, you know? So um, don't lead with, oh, you could quit your job. Some people love their job. <laughs> so, don't, you know, there are people that are still working because they love what they do. Um, but they're also millionaire earners with this company. So just remember that. But yeah, when I started this, I started simply because, hey, you could earn $500 by next Tuesday in your first 14 day bonus. And I was like, hold on, what? <laughs> like that, I needed that quick bonus. Like we needed that. Um, and, and, you know, like my first check was $0. My next check was the VIP bonus. And then there was $0 and then it was $24. And, you know, so it, 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 it you know, continued as we grew a team. Um, one thing that people were asking when you said you started, okay, twin said you need to convert your customers. What verbiage are you using? How are you doing that? So I always talk about belief. And when you believe, it's how you lead. It's how you talk. It's how you present yourself. It, it is how you show up. So when I talk to people, I, I don't sugarcoat it. I don't, I'm not this whole paragraph. I go straight to the point. You know, I go on there and I, I get to know what they need. I listen to them and you guys objections. It's not objections. It's, it's people. I, I teach my team this too. It's secured attention. You know, I just signed somebody. Uh, she's been signing me, uh, following me for two years and she, she was afraid of caffeine and she was, I'm really ready to try this. So objection is just leading them, listening to what they need. Right. I'm all I'm saying is if you lead with the product and they, you're confident in it, right. It's that belief that, and you can't be like, well, I don't, oh yeah, I like it. Like, it's all right. Imagine if you said that, or like, I love this. Like you got to try that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a difference in your how your energy is. It's not just verbiage. I honestly don't teach my team verbiage because I teach them the belief in leading with how they feel about their products. That's why it's so important for me to deliver results for them, right? Because it's natural. I cannot show up confident for you. I cannot lead the product for you because it's gonna, they're gonna feel it, right? When you hesitate. So the key is just leading them. Like, hey, what can, what are you having problems with? And she was just like, you know, it's mostly gut health for me. I really want to change my lifestyle. Like I have a lot of mental health issues. My dad um, was diagnosed for his gut. Like I don't, don't want that to happen to me, but I'm afraid I'm listening to her. You guys are talking over people. It's really hard for you to understand their objections. Okay. So I listened to her and she was just like, I'm just afraid caffeine. So I get, I get relatable. I said, hey, I had, I just recently had a customer. She was afraid of caffeine. Trust me, we will dose down. We'll start with half of half of a capsule. We'll do half of a shake, no patch for now. 
we'll get the whole system, but you trust me. I'm so confident you can get the results. I'll be there step by every step of the way. Let her think a little bit. Think about her. I'm, she's, I'm listening to her. She feels that I'm listening to her. And then she goes, you know what? You're right. Then I don't, you guys don't ever assume. Okay. I lead, I call to action, ask for the set. Um, I already know she trusted me from saying it depends right you want to have conversations and then pivot when it's the right time right you, we are in a people business you got to understand that when you are also I'll say this find success success kind of separates you from the people right because they think oh that person's like they would never talk you have to be human right? You got to talk to people, you got to engage. And that's what makes you relatable when you get engaged and figure out their objections. So I was like, Hey, I'm just letting you know, cause she was like, how about I buy a sample? And I'm like, I'm going to let you know, it's only to see how routine is. I'm going to tell you that a sample is a lot, really expensive. It really is. I'm telling her the truth. Like I have people buying samples off me and it's like almost like the quarter of the price. Right. Um, so I'm giving her options. So I was like, this is what you can do. We're giving $25 off. It was the promo that had, um, and I, and I'll, if you sign today, you can either, I, and I said, I revert back to what she said to me. I said, I know that you told me that you want to change your life. So if you're serious, let's do this. You always want to listen to what they say. So you, they know that you're listening to you and you remind them just like our business, you remind them like hey you told me that you wanted this like you know my customers hey you told me that you wanted this lifestyle it's the same thing you guys with your partners with your customers and then she said let's do it that's how I know that if I get on a call with somebody listen to their you know what they're I'm, I'm not there to rush a sale I'm listening to them what they need first then I give them options and then I just flow right? And in what we do, don't be so rushed for a sale. It's going to come. All the people that I've talked to in my mind already, I'm like, they're going to be driving with me. And even if like, let's say also when you talk to new people, it's the value you bring, right? Sometimes I get people that like, you know, I build a community besides Thrive. They're like, oh, I'll get it. Like, they're so nice, right? They're like, oh, we'll start conversation. She, uh, there was another uh, potential customer. She was like, oh, they, I went to the store and I wanted to get you this thing, but didn't have it. I was like, oh, no, thank you. But I want to show my appreciation. Can I send you something? You guys see that? Like, I'm, it's like naturally giving to each other. She's like, what? They don't even know what you're selling. They didn't, she's been following for so long. She didn't know what I was sharing. She goes, what is it anyways? I was like, I was like, what do you, what is your health goals? I'm trying to listen to what she wants so I can revert to give her what she needs. She goes, I need energy. If it's not energy, don't waste your products. I was like, girl, say no more. You guys, so I, I sent her a, a mini experience. I'm always doing samples because that's an option to get thrive into people's body. I'm not here for a fast sale. One sale is not going to do nothing to change their life to, with a lifestyle change. And then when I look at somebody, I always, I'm going to change their lifestyle. I'm going to make them money. They're going to join me in this. So I'm literally manifesting that and like literally helping that, like planting that seed. You know, like I had two calls this week. One was opportunity. One was customer base so I'm gonna tell you it takes time give yourself grace don't of course let them know be transparent go for the sell when you feel like it's right to go for the tell but don't go for the sell for your own good because they could feel that you guys they could people could feel when you're trying to get a sale off of them like oh are you gonna do this or not or or you're like, oh, you know, those people are like, oh, I can't stand this person. They just won't check out because it is for you, not for them. Right. So you, you want to do things and objections is really people just have questions. They're just curious. So the more you answer, you get used to answering their questions, like helping them. Right. Customer service. And then it's going to go to the cell. I have a lot of customers. I haven't driven with me. I, tomorrow is actually four years, nine months. You guys that I've been with Lavelle. And, and, and yes. And, and like, 
I still have the same customers that are so loyal, you guys. They've been thriving with me forever and they I've scaled them through sharing products that I use on the side. And I always like send them free stuff because it's the bigger picture, right? Once they, you deliver results for them, they trust you. And they'll, they'll be like, hey, and what else, right? You're just recommending all these other things. Um, so in what we do also, I really want to leave it at this. Um, the more I push more of who I am, not just the mm -hmm. products. If you guys go to my page. I'm a family girl. I am about my people. They feel my energy. Like I love to like fashion and all of that. So hold into who you are. Like, who are you besides a mom though? Like, who are you besides a thriver, right? Um, I literally attracted and I still do people towards because of like my personality and you guys do have personality, trust me me you could create that like honestly you were like I don't know what to do I'm a mom I'm like me too <laughs> like you guys please like people are looking for that motivation so I've said this on calls like brush your hair a little bit right or brush your teeth make yourself feel better so the energy they feel that energy right do something for yourself that is just up a notch than other people then they're like wow how I, I would love to go on the journey with you. So it's not the result. It is um, it is the in-between part. It is the process is why people join you guys. It's never the result. So don't think that you need to be a certain way to, to start growing. So I love it. I love it. Yes. You just have to be you. And um, I will say in the conversation you mentioned, you know, engaging with people, sending the message. Um, I will never forget a story years ago that, um, one of our promoters, somebody, he finally came up the courage to message somebody to thrive with him. And that person's response was, I've been waiting for you to message me. And he was like, why are you been waiting? And she's like, I was scared to message you, but I was hoping, you know what, maybe he'll message me about that stuff. I really want to try it. So guys. Who is sitting there? Because, you know, think about it. Think about like go back to school or go to church or wherever. There are people that are scared to raise their hand to ask questions. They're like, oh, somebody else is going to do it, right? I'm not, I'm not scared. I'm going to ask all the questions. I'm going to raise a hand. I'm always the one talking. Um, but there's somebody out there that wants what you have. They just haven't told you yet. And you haven't messaged them yet. So remember there are people that need you to approach them. They need you to share what you have and to invite them into your community. Like even, and even the new, the customers, the current customers, they're waiting for you to invite them to be a part of your community. They're, you know, they're thinking, oh, well, she just wants me to be a customer, but have you presented them with the opportunity? Have you invited them to an opportunity call? Or send the message of, hey, you know what? I love that you're loving, you're thriving. I just wanted to make sure that I've presented the opportunity to you and it's free to promote here. Love to hear your thoughts. You know, whatever that is, however you speak, but every so often, invite them to the opportunity, invite them to our community. All right. Thank you, Angela, so much. I appreciate you greatly. It has been amazing. I took a ton of notes. I know everybody else did too. We will see you um, at Thrive Palooza. I hope, I don't know. Are you going to go to Clearwater? Are you coming to the beach? Oh, I just saw the banner, but I will say yes. <laughs> we'll look at it after. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know what, what stinks? Honestly, is Facebook does not push things out anymore. And trying to get the word out to everybody, I think, has just not made it across the way. So we are super excited. I'll, um, yeah, get with me and Stephanie. We'd love to see you in Clearwater. And then for the rest of you, we'll see you there. And we'll see you at Thrive Palooza. Bye. Thank you. Bye.